Hello everyone, this is Gwydion, and I wanted to show you today a new program from the makers of Voice Meter called Matrix. So again, it's by VB Audio, who uh, makes Voice Meter, and Matrix is a, an audio router. So its its real purpose is to simply provide an audio framework to connect any type of audio interfaces. So for me, since I don't use a lot of the processing that goes with voice meter, um, like the gain or noise reduction, I'm handling that in other ways. I don't need to um, utilize the functionality of a voice meter. And so I'm, I find Matrix, which is currently in beta, to be a good product for me. So the only way to download it today is you can see it on their website, and I'll drop a link in the channel uh, or in the video below. But you have to join their Discord, go to the news section, and then you can download the beta version. It'll be donationware like the rest of their um, products like Voice Meter Banana and Potato. So let's get into the program a little bit. Once you download it, you will see a number of new drivers that are set up in your system. So I'm in my playback devices. So if you scroll down, these are all my cables from Voice Meter. Once you get into VB Matrix, these are all of the devices that are added. So you can see I've got this set up to have voice, uh, VB Matrix input one as my main output device. So system settings, anything that um, is going to go through my normal sounds. If I don't route it somewhere else, it'll go through this input one. One thing that you should know is although it loads eight inputs and outputs, right now you only have the ability to use the first four in Matrix, and I'll show you that, but basically input one through four. Another thing I wanted to show you, if you click on properties, some people have been having problems. Go to the advanced tab. Make sure you set your um, output to your preferred sample rate for me, it's 24 bit, 48,000 Hertz, but uncheck hardware acceleration. This has been giving people problems for now. It might be fixed at some point, but for now, for all of the um, inputs you're gonna use, I would uncheck hardware accelerate. The recording is just more of the same. I'm, I have my mic as my main uh, output, but you'll see all of the outputs. In this case, you don't have in the advanced tab, you don't have anything that you have to check in terms of hardware acceleration, but I would still set your program um, output to the same hertz as your inputs. All right. So once you download Matrix, this is kind of what you're gonna see. This is the main screen. Uh, you have a top section here for your ASIO devices, and this is just your internal clock. You'll notice that this is toggled as the master, which means as I understand it, just like voice meter, when you set your main hardware out, that's going to be kind of the master where everything is going to be synced to. So since I don't use any other ASIO devices, I just left this master at my clock and it's at 48,000 hertz. You can see everything is set to 48,000 hertz. And you can see my microphone right now is going in. It's got two um, inputs, two outputs to my headset down here. So the only thing I've connected at the moment to here with is my main um, HyperX Cloud headset. And you can see it's at 512 samples, sample rate, excuse me, the buffer. Um, the, the other things you can do on this main screen, you can change the color. So if I control left click, I can change this color to anything I want. I change it to green. I'll change it back to Bordeaux. Um, I think that was actually, it might've been red. Yeah, I like my mic red. So you can change all of these just so you can separate the colors, which will be important on the next screen. If you want to add devices in this section, and for now you can only add four inputs and four outputs. I know that'll change later, I believe. But if you control left click here, it'll give you all of the devices that you have option to add. So you can connect this to voice meter. Uh, and right now I'm using WDM, but you can use kernel streaming, KS, or MME if you, if you want. All right. Uh, and when you first come into these, these will all be toggled off. So you need to control left click, left click to get these online. 
So all of these will be off, but these are the four VAIO um, virtual devices that I mentioned before. You notice it doesn't say input or output because these are, are, are both inputs and outputs, which you'll show on the next screen. screen. Um, VBAN streams, I don't really use VBAN, but if you are using VBAN, you can uh, toggle it on here. And then virtual AI, AISO if you, or ASIO, excuse me, ASIO, if you want to use that. All right, so let's go, before we go to the next screen, I'm gonna open the main menu so you can restart audio engine, load or save settings once you've made changes. Um, set this to your system tray, uh, run on Windows startup, all the normal things. Then you can go to settings. So if you look in your settings here, you can see that each of these, you have the ability to click and edit the username. Um, it's something Vincent is looking into right now, but you can see like from my microphone, I've changed this and named it Gwid's mic, but it doesn't show up over here. I, I think you'd have to go into your Windows Sound legacy device devices if you want to make it show up here. Um, but for now, I, I just have it. I, mentioned, I, I noted it over here. Um, but you will notice that I changed my VAIO to my virtual devices. They do all have the names that I gave them, uh, and you can see them on the front end. You can see your normal buffers. You can change these or your preferred main sample rate. I've got it all to 48,000, so there's nothing to change there. Uh, and you can see your other uh, devices down here, but I'm not using those at the moment. All right, so let's open up Matrix itself. So this is kind of the, the guts that tells you where everything is routing. So on the left-hand side are your inputs, and at the top are your outputs. So you can change that. Like, again, if you click up here, you can save or load your routing. Um, you can, under options, if you want your inputs to be on the top and flop this, you can toggle this here. Um, and sources, I, I, don't, uh, I don't do anything with these at the moment. So if you look at your uh, source inputs, you can see everything that I have uh, connected right now, which is my microphone, Wood's mic. So you can see that here and you can see I'm broadcasting. Um, OBS is picking this up because I have my uh, OBS connecting directly to my mic. And I'm not using the outputs at the moment for uh, OBS. I'm just, I've got everything connected directly to each of these inputs. So if you flip over for a moment to my OBS view, you can see I have different, I have the different connections right here. I have my output. I've got my system default device. So that's my VB matrix input one. I've got Sirenscape here, and that's connected to VB matrix input two. And then I've got um, my default system sounds, which are VB matrix input one. So you will hear if I play Sirenscape, which I have connected right now, I have Sirenscape on Firefox and I can actually control what I have my uh, Sirenscape up. So if I roll dice, you'll hear that through the main default system output. And if I play Sirenscape like a one shot of sad trombone, you're going to hear that through the Sirenscape uh, input that I, that I connected. All right. So as you look at these, there are a number of things you can do. You can right click on these and you can edit the name just like I have Gwid's mic. And you'll notice that for my mic, I have two channels here. But on the virtual devices, you'll notice there's eight. And that's because obviously I'm only using stereo, but you could connect it something and you could broadcast out in 7.1 or you know whatever whatever your system is compatible with i'm only broadcasting in stereo so these are my system device sounds so if i want i can if i can to connect anything i control and left click and then to disconnect and not make the connection control left click again if i hover over and scroll the mouse wheel that is um, raising and lowering the volume in each of my left and right headphones. So here, Sirenscape, I just, I don't have any 
modification, but if I wanted Sirenscape to be a little lower, I can do that. And that's just going to lower my headset. If I want to lower it in OBS, I can do it in there. And that's how I want it. I'd rather connect it and control it in OBS. So same thing for the rest of my comms down here. I've got, this is Discord. So uh, right now I've just got Discord coming to my uh, headset. And then other audio, if I have any other programs I wanted to utilize. So if I right click here, you can change this. I'm in standard view if you want to see it very large. Or the mini view, you can see it this way, which is kind of cool. But I'll leave it in standard view. Um, you can reset lines. And again, I already showed you how to edit the name. So really, it's as simple as deciding where you want to send sounds and making the connection. So right now, although a lot of people use Kinko FM, it's just not that stable for me. So I'm going to output my um, desktop sounds in Sirenscape to my players using Video Ninja. So that'll just be a web link. So what I've done is I've set the connection to where I'm going to be able to use the VAIO1 output to my players. And I'm going to connect that in Video Ninja. And you can see I've made the connection. So when I do play sound, it's going to play my system sounds. It's not going to play my mic because I don't want to hear my mic and I don't want my players to hear my mic because they're going to hear it in Discord. So I don't want them to hear it twice. I've got Sirenscape connected. I don't have um, Discord connected because, again, they're going to hear that already in Discord. But if I have any other sounds coming through other audio, they'll hear that. So that's all set. All I have to do is, is launch the web page for Video Ninja and then connect the uh, output. So that's, that's it. There's probably a lot more I could share with you. But for the moment, I just want to do something simple, show you that this is out here, encourage you to test the beta and see if it's something that'll work for you. Certainly if, if you're using voice meter and it's not broken and, and or it's not, not that it's not broken, but if you're using it and it's working perfect for you, there's no compelling reason to switch. I'm switching because again, I don't really use a lot of the processing of voice meter. I'd rather just have the routing. So I hope that's helpful to, to some of you and uh, yeah, let me know. Um, shoot me a comment. Um, reach me out on Discord or, or the Fantasy Grounds forums. And, and yeah, I hope you test out Matrix. And if you do, let me know what you think. Until next time, um, yeah, I'll see you around the forums. Thank you.